garage, the cruise garage. Today's episode, we're gonna be reviewing the first car from BMW that we got offered. Uh, it's the 330i xDrive uh, M Edition 1. Let's start with the engine. It's uh, an inline four with a turbo producing 248 bhp, 258 foot pounds of torque. The car weighs uh, 1681 kilograms which creates a power to weight ratio of 0.1475 or 0.15 uh, bhp to every kilogram. Uh, this car would do 0 to 100 in just about 5.8 seconds uh, and we're gonna do that. Yeah, we'll do it right now. It's average. Sorry, it's uh, average. When you compare it to the C and the Audi A4, I think it's doing uh, pretty decent. I'm going to be talking about the interior. They've before the interior. Uh, it has an eight-speed automatic uh, transmission. Now you can go ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh, when it comes to the interior, they've improved a lot of stuff. A couple of the plastics over here and the leathers. On the previous generation, it used to be more plasticky. Now it feels more towards leather, I would say, uh, which is a huge improvement because to me it was very cheap. Uh, but, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I know you love that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is very cheap. Even the roof material, it's like, eh. It doesn't feel like you're in a German car. I expected a lot, uh, especially for the price. Starting price for this, is, Wait, let, let's give the price to the end. This already has the M uh, edition package, the first one, not the second one. Um, Which is another four grand. Yeah, so this one is $4,000 worth of uh, cosmetic stuff. And I've only seen the M badge in four, five, six places. Uh, steering wheel, uh, the footrest over here, and when, whenever you open the door. Uh, besides the cosmetic M badges, the bumper has been changed, the side skirts, uh, when it comes to the bumper, the front and the rear. When you think about it for $4,000, is it really worth it? Mm, I, but really I guess you need it in some areas, because you don't get only these things, you get other stuff. A couple uh, of like other features, Like yeah. an infotainment system and the steering. Uh, you would get the heated uh, steering wheel with the sporty looking, and you get a front uh, heated seat, but that's uh, standard. I hate, I hate the leather. The leather, I was just gonna talk about it. The only premium quality leather is in the steering wheel, since you already paid the $4,000 for it. Yeah, like the leather on the seats, I think it's, they could make yeah. something better. Could have been better. It's like even, it's it's better than the previous generation, but still, I think it's very bad, comparing they, it to Mercedes. They, and, they can do better. Yeah. They can definitely do better. Uh, if you want the better ones, you have to pay more. It's, can or, I, can it's I already too expensive. Oh, the key! Oh my god. They haven't changed from before, so don't expect a lot. But this just proves how cheap it is. Plastic. Plastic. And it's it super has, plastic. It has a feel. It's like you bought it from... A, a toy shop oh, or something, yeah, a toy shop. or like you know, um, something cheap. The funny thing, you have a smart key, but you can't have uh, the easy access into the car. Yeah. yeah, so you have to unlock, unlock the car it. by pushing the button. But then you can start the car without putting the key, you know, in the slot. There's actually no place to put yeah. the key in, so you have to so it's kind keep of, it in your pocket. It's kind of weird. So you have to pull it out, get into the car, then put it in again. But then when you're leaving, you have to find the key again to close the door. Okay. Um, let's go to the blind spots. <laughs> blind spots. Okay, so this car is equipped with active blind spot control unit or something like that. 
there, it, it's called active blind spot assistance, I believe. It doesn't tell you when a car is in the blind spot, not all the time. Only when the car is attempting to pass you. Uh, that's when the system will intervene. It will shake the steering wheel and it will prevent you from making the turn. And that's the only time those triangles will indicate that there is a car. But can you trust them? Normal driving, again, it's something standard in all the other cars. Yeah. Remember when we did the review for the C? C. Yeah. It was, it was working all the time. Here, you have to be in certain conditions for it to show. Well, at least you can put a, a baby car seat in the back. The infotainment, this has the new iDrive. Um, everything has been updated. This is the 2018 iDrive. Um, you can control it using the, the control buttons over here, or you can actually use the touch screen. But I think it's kind of, you know, it's it is out far. of the reach. Yeah, it it's is like far. a little bit far away. It is sensitive and oh, it's fast. Yeah, it's not. It, it doesn't lag at all. If you have an Apple device, the car is equipped with Apple CarPlay. Yep. And then you're going to be using your data. But we're missing uh, good quality of speakers, so not uh, Bang & Olufsen, not Harman Kardon, just a regular BMW speakers, I guess. So Kyle, since you're driving, what do you think of the driving modes and the camera and the parking sensors? Uh, the car is equipped with a rear camera and front and rear sensors that will help you whenever you're attempting to park. Um, it also have four driving modes. <laughs> it does Almost not have fast. attention assist. It has four driving modes. It has the Eco, Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. You can definitely feel the difference between all of them. Uh, the Eco is targeted for saving gas, where the Sport is more sport-oriented. Uh, the steering wheel gets heavier, the chases get stiffer, suspensions as well. So what do you think about the sensitivity of uh, reactions from the gas pedal and the brake pedal? And it does change and you can actually feel it and tell the difference. Um, another feature in BMW that they've improved is the stervotronic or the servotronic in the steering wheel. Um, whenever you're driving slow, I think it's a below 30 or 20 kilometers, you don't have to input a lot to the steering wheel to make a turn. Uh, whenever you're driving above those uh, speeds, you would have to put a lot of effort into changing the position of um, the front wheels. This should help whenever you're in uh, a parking area, lot, I yeah. would say, yeah, a parking lot. So it's or basically a smart steering wheel. Or st it is, yeah, it's system. electronic control something yeah. like that, yeah. Trunk capacity, almost three, 13 cubic feet. Tank capacity almost 16 liters. Uh, fuel consumption inside the city it's 10.5, on the highway 7.4, combined 9.1 liters to every 100 kilometers. We've been uh, driving around for almost three hours now. Uh, we only use quarter of a tank, which is okay. I think it's decent. It is. All right, the price. Uh, every the price. Time. Its tire sizes are 225 by 45 by 18 for all four of them since it's, since it's an all-wheel drive. Price-wise, it does have the M rim as well. This oh, comes yeah. with the package. Price, it starts at 45 900 Canadian dollars plus the M package. That's another four thousand dollars. So you're looking around almost fifty. That's the standard starting price, I would say. So if you want, for example, the paddle shifters, you have to go for a different option. Which we already well, talked about, yeah. Yeah, well, you start, you would end up like around 60. Um, would I buy it yeah. for that price? Honestly, I don't think so. Um, even though I love BMW, I might go for the Mercedes C or think of other options. Um, you get more for the money that you're going to be paying. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'll buy it either. I'm, it's I'm still happy. an improvement. Yeah, but I'm not happy paying 50 or 60 grand. Yeah, no. plus the luxury tax and PDI and documents. 
Yeah, I think I have way more options. Like better, better options. Better options. Suitable yeah, yeah. options, yeah. Uh, All right, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, see you in the next one. See you in the next one.